Think of a treadmill. You can run as fast as you want, but you're going to remain stuck in the same exact place that you started. The hedonic treadmill of life is the same way. Maybe you're in a state of boredom or you're sad, so you desire more. You get more. You're happy for a moment, then you adapt and you return to the baseline. You're exactly where you started. So you desire more, you get more, you're happy for a moment, then you adapt. You're always going to return to that baseline if you're always chasing happiness. But true happiness and fulfillment can never be achieved in this way. Because pursuing hedonistic happiness will only make us a slave to what we want more of. Maybe it's buying stuff. Maybe it's a drug. Maybe we're addicted to an app. Maybe it's a person. What all these share in common is that it is never enough. We always chase more, the bigger hit, the more pleasure. Is this all life is, is being stuck on this rat race and treadmill, seeing a mirage of happiness that we will never actually achieve and we'll, we will be on this until we die. Thinking that, oh, I just need that thing to be happy. No, that's not all life is. And it's only when you buy into this thinking that you need something external to achieve real happiness and fulfillment that is a lie because real happiness is eudaimonic it is being a fulfilled person knowing your meaning and purpose having good habits having great connections with people you actually care about and having great experiences it's not about the stuff the problem with this is that it takes way more effort. You're not going to get this type of happiness overnight. It takes time. It takes delaying gratification. And it takes consistency. And you don't achieve it by setting out for this. You have to fall in love with the habits that create a fulfilled person. This means eating healthy, getting enough sleep, having a relationship with God, having strong, good friendships, limiting your time on social media, getting outside, working out, having positive thinking. Getting off the hedonic treadmill is hard, which is why most people are going to stay on it their entire life, pursuing pleasure and never becoming a self-actualized person, a satisfied person that they could have become because of everything in our society is geared towards the opposite. Addictive pleasure, instant gratification, addiction, lust, greed, gambling, all to make us a slave to the world, a slave to our impulses, to sin. Luckily, we don't have to do this alone. We can ask God for help to get off this treadmill. And instead of chasing that newest high, we can focus on increasing our baseline happiness. We can start by making a list of what we desire more of and asking ourselves, will this actually make me a more fulfilled person? Or will this only bring me a temporary fleeting pleasure and cost me money and time buying this thing I didn't need? If you want to buy something, put it in a shopping cart, wait a week. If you still want it on a week, then get it. Most of the time, you're not going to want it after a week. It's all about delaying gratification and not just pursuing pleasure, but finding what's actually going to make us a fulfilled person. And once we start doing this, we're going to achieve a higher level of happiness. The lows won't be as bad and the highs will be even higher. Instead of taking and wanting more and more, we can give, we can share. It's enough. We don't need any more. It's not, I need more, I need more. It's enough. It's sustainable. It's living for the future, not the now. Instead of thinking about everything we need, I need this to be happy. Everything I want, then I can finally be happy. We need to be grateful for what we have, being habitually grateful, building good happiness, finding happiness in friends, family, experiences, God. Instead of thinking that something external is going to make me happy, it's internal. It's saying, I am going to be happy. I, I'm going to be happy. Just say, I'm happy. I'm happy. Look at the habits that happy people do and do those. Get off the hedonic treadmill. This is the way to true wealth and true happiness because the richest man is not who has the most but needs the least.